Hello and welcome to the Heat Engineer dashboard. Um, we have submitted surveys where the they're all the surveys that be submitted from the app, so whether it's your Android or Apple device. Um, reports in progress, so that will take you through the, the nine steps as well, but if you stop somewhere halfway, then they'll be contained within there, so you can revisit them. And then you have your completed reports as well, and again, you can, you can go in and edit them. Um, your surveyors, so if you've signed up to a small, medium enterprise SME, um, then you'll be able to click on here, and this is where you can send a request for a surveyor to join. So it, it doesn't necessarily have to be you that completes the surveys um, on the on the mobile apps. You can invite your your colleague, your colleagues, and and your team. So that's where you you type in the email address and they get an invite. Um, and it's really important they click on that that email. So. Um, to accept the invitation, so ask them to check their spam as well. So I just go to get back to the main dashboard. I click on the dashboard, and um, so I've introduced uh, submitted surveys, the uh, reports in progress, and your surveyors. Um, building materials. So as you become more confident with completing heat loss calculations, this is where you can build up a, a personal library. Now we do already have from SIBSI a comprehensive library library of U values for walls, roofs, windows, doors, and and floors as well. Um, but it is so these are all my custom U values here that I created. And um, if you simply know the 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 actual U value, so you can add a building element here and um, so you type in the description and then type in the actual U value here so that's quite a straightforward way to, to add a, a U value but if you need to do a um, bit of calculation don't worry we'd, we'd, we'll make it easy for you so here you can select the the actual building element and type in each building name and the thickness of that and thermal conductivity now if you don't know the thermal conductivity we do give you a, um, a materials list as well so I'll just click on that um, and there's the materials list for the, the, the thermal conductivity values there. So that's that's when you want to create your unique um, uh, U values for your building materials. But like I said, most of the t most of the time, um, you can just use it from the drop down list that we've already pre populated. The uh, manufacturers and merchants. Uh, when I click on this, this shows the uh, premium subscribed manufacturers and merchants that have uh, that used the software. Um, that have populated their the models that they provide, so the heating models, whether it's um, renewable technologies or conventional fossil fuels, it's all there. Um, if you find, for example, you click on a manufacturer and uh, you can't find the model they want, or you can't find them a manufacturer that you want to use, you can easily add a, a manufacturer of your own there. So. Um, uh, creating the name custom uh, of, the, of the manufacturing name here, um, the website, the email address, and save it, and then it'll ask you to, to add the models that you, that you like. But because our software's been running for a few, quite a few years now, um, you'll find that the majority of the manufacturers that you want to use are already there. But um, please get in touch with us if you want them added. We can, add, we can do that um, equally. What's even better is encourage, encourage them to, to sign up as well so they can manage um, those uh, those models. If I click on, oh no, actually, I won't click on submit to service just yet. So this being the main room by room heat loss calculation dashboard, I did mention on one of the other videos that we have the estimated dashboard. So if I click on here, you'll see we can go to a new estimator. So this is creating a heat loss within five or ten minutes. So it's a very quick. Um, estimator um, and it can be domestic or commercial I'm not going to go for an example right now but I'm just, just pretty much introducing it to you where you can do this and because you've already created an account it will um, show you um, it will show you the ability to save it and actually download a PDF report for this estimator so this is a great tool to use um, when uh, you have um, speaking to a client on the phone or if you have the Apple app, it's it's in the option in there as well to do the, the quick estimator. So it's come back out of that. So I need to click on to um, the logo here to go back to the main dashboard again. Um, the profile details, if I click on profile, I can have the option here to um, publish my details 
into the search engineers facility. So if a member of the public wanted to find an engineer, heating engineer that can conduct a heat loss report uh, and also install, um, they can search the, uh, the map um, and, um, and find you. But you don't necessarily have to publish your details, so the options are there so you can edit and publish them. Um, so that's there to use as well. Um, account details, if I click on this, this is where you can change your plan as well or, uh, and upload your logo. So if I wanted to change to say, um, so if I'm a, I'm, I think I've got here a sole trader account, I can easily go, up to, no, I've got a, an SME actually. But if I wanted to have a white labeled option, I can upgrade there. So this is where you can change your plan here. I'll go back to the dashboard. And just before I show another video of what the submitted surveys look like from steps one to nine, going to indicate to you that you can change the theme as well. So if we went to say a gray background and green there, so that's good. And anyone that has dyslexia, yeah, then we have this font here as well. So it's, it's customizable. If I go back to original there. Okay. And a really useful, so in the other video I did mention about the videos to check out. So <clears throat> step one and step two. So step one is to explore how to use the app. And then step two is to, it shows you the videos of how to use this software online, which of course I'm making more videos to, to help you guys. Um, the help file here, so the help link, if I click this help link, this is a PDF document which shows um, how our software uh, conducts the calculations and goes into depth of of, uh, of, of how it's how it how it uses um, different algorithms um, uh, and generally might ask, answer a lot of questions you might have. Um, so have a look at that and it should be clickable. So if we go to the uh, contents page, so if we wanted to find out a little bit about um, the uh, exposed location, click on that, it jumps straight to that there. So it does help um, using this PDF document just to jump straight to the point where you need help on that um, bivalent system there to show it explains. There we go. So I'm sure that will that will be helpful there. So that's that's the that's an introduction into the dashboard. Um, and so the next video um, will be um, showing you um, submitted surveys, clicking into that, going through the, the various sort of steps there.